Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Warno ranked match. Today on the left side, I'm playing a deck given by our viewer, 11th Cav. And then on the right, I'm playing against T Man here, playing against his 39th. Um, sorry, I don't have the deck image here. It's not my deck, so I don't actually have it anymore. I kind of deleted it. Anyway, um, let's go over my deployment. General idea two IHOCs, one going to the center, uh, one going to the south, and then some stingers to help out in the center position here, locking down this area against any helos trying to come across you know, into the ocean. An LRS squad. A recon going to the north with a CV with a various amount of head shoots in here and engineers going into the uh, center here. I think that's how you say it. head shoots in. I have no idea. CV going to the south as well. A whole bunch more head shoots in and uh, some, uh, yeah, just in a one M1 A1 A cav coming right off the bat here. These things are great. You have good optics as well on a tank. LRS coming down here to support. Opponent here opening up a little bit differently here. It looks like he's going for a rush. On the north, I was kind of okay with that. I was like, most people push over here. I'll let them go in here. His problem is going to be tanks. He's not going at all for the center. He's playing deploying very conservatively, sending a conquerors here. Two BMP twos to the south and LRS. Two Cubs already heavy AA CV. And he's opening up with another Cub in the north as well with Estrella. So heavy AA, maybe anticipating an A10 rush. Though I don't do A10 rushes. It's scummy. Um, and he's opening up with just some uh, BMP ones and Motoshoki metas here. So more push in the north and more of a push in the south. While I'm going more in the center. And one south, and nothing going north. Anyway, let's uh, kick this off. The middle is plus two here. And he has a slight advantage, I guess, on the right side for the bottom of the southern point, just because the points lean more onto his side. And then the center, I, have a, I think I have a slight advantage because you can get in here a lot easier. There's a lot more cover for you to get into. There's nothing here. It's pretty much open ground. And I think he has a slight advantage in the north where his point's a lot further off to push. And there's more opportunity for you to push on this location into Lima. Uh, so I guess the map's pretty even. Pretty different, but I wouldn't say it's like that far off. It's a good advantage to have in the north. Uh, though we do have Airborne, he doesn't with the LRS. It's not a huge advantage, but it gives us a key positions right off the bat. We're going to get in this position here. Seeing everything in the center. Also providing some fire support from any pushing going on. These LRS are pretty good. A rifle, Commandos, and an M29. Got another one here. Just trying to spot anything that's coming down. I think we're quite quickly realizing here that uh, right about this time I should be seeing units coming down here and we're not seeing anything. Uh, so I assumed no push in the center. Right, about, right when I saw this, I was like, all right, we're about to see a push in the north here. Uh, I just <laughs> It's just to be expected. Rotating the CV from the north now back to the south to get in the center zone. Moving up the CV now. We do have a plus three lead on him. His CV is a little bit slower. He bought a TB, T80B in the north, so... It's going to be a lot harder. And yeah, so now we know he's not pushing here. I actually didn't move one of my head shoots in because I'm a bad player. <laughs> Buying two supply each for the IHOCs here on the center position. IHOCs are in some of the map to cover key positions. CB's going to rotate here. He's going to fire a shot. Some supply. Doesn't even matter. We're long gone. Waste around and exposes his position. See an MI8 Rocky Hilo already coming in. I'm moving a headshot in into center over here for some reason. You see me like giving weird orders here. <laughs> I decide, all right, I know he's pushing now the north. Our uh, little BGS squad's been spotted. We're going to start deploying reinforcements by a second M1A cav going to the north with a trooper keep carrier. Headshots are coming over here to help out. They're going to rotate to center in a second on the northern side. And actually, I misclicked. It's following this Humvee, but it's been fixed now. And we're going to start probing the southern point now. And I thought maybe he had like a, you know, I started to see a lot over here. So I thought, you know, let's start probing here on the southern front. Very good defensive here on the center position. I'm comfortable with what it is. We're going to start pushing up here now with the A calves. He's got his, uh, you know, it's already pretty much breached into the line here. Not looking too good. Air cap trades are trying to land as quickly as possible here. We're trying to get some engagements here on the southern point here with Zekka. Do you see his BMP coming here? But M1A1 is now showing up. He only has BMP2s over here. Nothing crazy. He's starting to see some conquerors and Monoshoki rotating now. A little bit too late though. He's going to start taking some hits here. He's just going to get a CV in the zone. I'm going to move up even further. M1A1 is engaging. We're getting a little action over here. Nothing too crazy. But I engage. <coughs> Maybe 2 Does get around on me. Doesn't do damage. So we fire around. We miss again. Sadly. So we're going to reload before he can... Uh, 
Fires next shot. It does kill one of my headshots up in the north. We're seeing what's going on. A10 comes in, kill a BMP2. A10 comes in, a rocket one, just to kill the rocket helo. Don't want that in the area. Kill that. Big kill. Trello fires, cub fires, misses on both. Cubs re aiming though. Down here, though, we're just probing. We do snipe a CV though with M1A cab as he tries to retreat. A little slow there. And this one truck has been cut out in the open. A10 rotating back around with the A cab now engaging. I'm gonna go for his AA piece. I didn't realize there's a cub back here. Cub fires, gets a nice clean hit on me. Ooh, Strella does first. The cub is gonna finish me off though. That's it, he's no more. Cub only has no ammo though. He's gonna have to bring up some supply. Over here, we're backing up now. He's bringing up an MI-24P. We got no real AA. I'm gonna rotate the IHOC to help out in the center position. For the time being, I'm really thin on AA. We're four to play AA. It's gonna be backing up. I'm gonna conserve these units. See me get my uh, transport in. Now we're moving up. Rotate the tank back. I'm gonna wait for a better opportunity here. Um, we're gonna have another command tank coming out here, or the first one. Some more head shoots in and some uh, more scouts. <coughs> got a stinger up here as well now. And he's buying up supply, but the supply chain's pretty far off right now for him. This cub's pretty much useless, though I don't know that, so. We have some BMP1s over here. There's like a recon. I'm looking to probe this location in a second. IHawk's showing up now. My goal is to kick him out here and put a lot of blob pressure over here of tanks, and that's the key here. And you don't want to push too early. Like, a lot of guys get... You know, a little rush in there. Move in, they'll move in the tank right now all by itself. It's better to wait for critical mass while he's building up another front. So we do get a hit here on the IHawk. Somehow he survives on one health, sadly. Gonna back off though. Team End is no noob. He's a great player, so he's gonna <laughs> preserve his MI24, sadly. And I'm starting to move in here. I'm making a mistake there. I do lose one of my squads. I just gonna unload the second one though in a second. Do unload in time. Scouts are here though. And a second tank's arriving. Now we decide to push. He gets behind me though over here. Kills a CV. I redirect my ACAB. I was going to land over here to uh, try to deal with it with a attack helo coming. I'm trying to land. It is just a 20 points, 25 point supply truck. Over here trying to probe a little bit with the ACAB. Kills the supply truck. Luckily the IHOC does live. We fire around. Stun him. And we're going to mop him up now. You lose a CV though, which is a big loss. We're just gonna keep probing over here. There's a lot going on on us, so we're microing pretty heavily between the two zones. Sam 1A Cavs is knocking him up right now. Similar over here, we're starting to put some good damage here. Losing BMP2s left and right. And now we're starting to move up. We got a wave of uh, helos over here hanging out. We got this A Cav is gonna rotate through in the forest now. And I'm really curious, really interested in getting into the zone now. Moving back his tank. Got some reinforcement mortars coming. Some more singers. We're starting to actually get pretty close in this area. I'm going to move a CV now. I feel comfortable getting a CV in the zone. So push me up plus one against them right now. There's a BTR in here. I just wrote to the head shoots in. Head shoots in have great accuracy here. 60%. Cap the zone. We're now plus one. Over here, it's not looking good either. He's losing a lot of his units. Transports. He really has no reinforcements coming over here. He's sending his reinforcements down to the southern front now. He's being overwhelmed. We're going to buy another M1A1 with a Jaguar coming into center to help out. Now we're moving in. ACAV is about to move up into the Motostroki. Over here is where the action it really is. Here's a, some forces forward. We cap his zone. Giving us a plus two now. The lead is getting pretty drastic. We're pushing up on the north now at the same moment as this is all going down. He's got a conquers here though. Though it is on low health. Miss another round. Take two rounds here. But he only hits me with a one. Does stun me. Over here we got a little bit of tank engagement. M1A1 moves in. He fires a shot. We fire one back at him. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Over here we do kill his uh, BMP2. This AK is still ready to go. Putting down rounds. We're gonna smoke off though. I wanna preserve what I have. I'm gonna move these IHOCs back. I'm gonna move the M1A cap back and the CV back. Find my first piece of artillery. Finally cap him back to north here, giving us plus three. Which is what the lead we want. We're gonna solidify our holdings over here on the northern side. We're gonna resupply these two tanks though. We're gonna have supply helos come in momentarily. We're gonna rotate them to center. 
while we start to blob tanks now in the south. We got M1 already coming. Got our first piece of artillery coming as well. And he does break through this location here. So we decide just to get up and leave. <laughs> He's got his first BV arriving on this location. He's got a BV coming now to the northern side. But far too late. Location's been locked down. Supply helos coming in too. It's funny, this thing has 10% ECM. <laughs> This is the key here. It's just we do that slow roll, right? We built up. It can't waste points just having sitting around. So like you gotta immediately start rotating things once you take those areas, especially if you're not gonna follow through. I didn't feel like I needed to follow through here. I feel like it'd be more productive for me to rotate back down to the center. We're just putting tons of head shoots in here, and we got some first uh, melange coming as well. Martyr, sorry. Back over here, though, we're finally getting overwhelmed. Got my ACAV just hanging out over here, just in case. Maybe we could snipe some of these BMPs if they sneak by us. Get my L LRS here to back up. Helo's hanging out in the rear now. It does have Cubs, though. We do fire one of his things. We're just going to keep retreating here. Don't want a full on engagement. Miss a shot. Some nice hits us. He does route. Another tank arrives though. Keep missing. Very sad we keep missing. <laughs> they make us smoke off. We get a hit there. Sadly, he does snipe my uh, supply truck. We're trading my helos over though. Moving in my M1s. Let's see if we can pop here. I wanted to pop some of these cubs. Miss a shot against the cub. Fire again. It's a nice hit on me. Get a revenge kill though. No, we missed again. Two shots. It's crazy. Third shot gonna be the charm? Yeah, third time is the charm. We do get the cub. And I don't particularly like the situation. I'm gonna back up. I smoke. He's mid coming in here. He's gonna go in for my helo. Do have an eye hawk though. Two eye hawks. I'm gonna rotate these eye hawks though, so you can't artillery them. That's what you do. When you Iox fire, you gotta rotate them. You see me start rotating these tanks right now. I'm gonna keep, uh, I'm gonna unload one of these mortars into the ACAV and we're gonna move over here to the center as well. It's best to keep rotating. Bring up more and more armor. He does have these control, these two points here. But he hasn't capped them quite yet. He's got a CV coming on its way now. EMP1. A little bit slow. Actually, should I pushing in now? Make another mistake here. We we'll lose a squad. If I remember correctly, I think we lose a squad here. I think fires. It's around that squad, killing it. Other one does survive. We have some more Jaguars here. We got two tanks on the southern front. We got two tanks in the center front now. It looks like he's gonna start rotating to push over here, which I got. You know, we can see what's going on with Stinger. He's finally capping the zones here to stop the lead. is going to start aiming at stuff. We saw Conkers earlier firing here. We should start shooting into it. And we haven't seen any artillery from Team Man quite yet. Just putting down rounds though. That's cost some Conkers. We're finally getting some take engagements over here now we've rotated. There's a 2v1 here for a BV. Starting to probe this location now. He's gonna get a CD into the zone here, stopping the bleeding. We are plus a thousand on them right now. Pretty brutal. We got another M1A1 coming with two more recon. A lot of Jaguars. This tank's repairing. We got overwhelming firepower down the south. He's only got one tank here. He's got a lot of conquerors and BMP2s, but that stuff can be worn down pretty quickly, especially with the forces we are yielding here with artillery and overwhelming tanks. Um, center is looking a little dicey as well. Looks like he's trying to push from another angle. We're gonna push here. He's got a metas. Insulin's gonna get stunned though. It's 
Tinger here gets exposed. That just gets exposed. I do finish them off. We got a whole bunch of LRS here, some squads. We're gonna start putting them in these, some of these buildings here. Oh, Shogi gets exposed. Milan Warrior gets exposed. Misses the first shot, sadly, from the this hard BMP. We smoke off. We're gonna back off. Even the tanks over here. We're gonna build up a pretty big strike force to push from this angle. Artillery's gonna start aiming at these buildings here, clearing out the infantry that we know is there. This is the moment where I feel like, all right, let's go for it here. We got a couple tanks here. I got another command tank. It's four tanks now on the battlefield in the southern front, two in the middle. Got some martyrs here engaging. Jaguar just showing up. Abrams are coming here. We got two on the front right right now. Third one's about to arrive. I'm putting down some rounds of tree moving up. A lot of things here. He's only got one tank here. We don't see any tanks coming for a little bit now. He's firing some artillery. This one tank's not going to cut it. It's all by itself. I'm going to back this tank up, rearm. BMP2 here, going down. Next tank's arriving now as these, this one ro rotates back. TV tank's on its way as well already. It's a nice hit on me. i just keep smoking though. Next tank's arriving. We got some more engineers on their way now. Center, not too much. He's building up right now. It's about to come. BV though, taking a hit here. Milan taking a shot. A1 coming out of shot. Artillery is now aiming at the Conquerors here. Milan fires. Gets a kill on the BV. He's got no tanks down the southern front. Our tanks are repairing. Don't finish our completion of artillery rounds because his artillery was coming in. Which would have been nice if we killed that Conquerors immediately. Congress does miss again, though. We're starting to get in these Strellas here. Stop moving them back in time. Missed again. Do lose that, though, for low micro. Center, he pushed me out, though. All of a sudden, the blob comes in most shoki. I gotta move the tanks back. He gets a lucky hit right here. Momentarily. Did you kill a Strella down here? Now we're gonna do another tank wave. All our tanks are rearmed. Four of them. More Jaguars. T Helo's coming in. Just mopping this stuff up, keeping him suppressed. A shot comes in. Stuns me, but no kill there yet. Over here, moving in. Little Strucky being mopped up. I'm gonna get the CV command tank in a second. And now we're moving across here. I'm gonna try to get into this Conquerors. Oh, he's taking center. We're taking the south. I'm sure trying to finish off the job it started. Moving this tank back to rearm. Our final artillery into the center position. Two minus trophies over here. Do kill out his helo though in center. With our Estrella in center. We're just overwhelming him at the southern point now. Artillery is firing out as they engage these engineers. Goes down. Now there's nothing in center. We're going to start capping these zones. Conquerors is out of ammo as well. Got tons of armor down here. Got even more coming down to the command. Four more martyrs. Actually going to the center position. We're going to start counterattacking the center. He's got BB and Conquerors coming now. But a little bit late to the party here. I start taking him again. Conquer's now in the center position. There's three tanks firing at him. BB's taking him pounding. Jaguars are engaging. Who's ah. ah. the Conquer's there? I'm just waiting for reinforcements now for center to help out. That gives us the lead again. We're plus two. We don't own the center position really that much. 
Sadly, we get an engine destroyed right there. Now we're stuck. I'm gonna have to bring up some supplies as quickly as possible. I'll buy two supply. We're engaging the BMP-1. I'm not gonna abandon it though. I'm gonna try to help. Pillar's coming in on the engineers. I'm putting down rounds on this church tower here. We're gonna keep up with the advance here. He's only got uh, two BVs, and we got like I think four tanks down here with a whole bunch of Jaguars and other support. I'd rather be in Abrams at this point, especially with all the veterans you were getting from the, the command tanks. The tank over here. I'm gonna try to push up here. All of a sudden, there's a million tanks on this, but. Does smoke off though and survive. He's got to repair it. This tank's wounded too. Got our CV in the zone now. This got a nice hit on this Abrams. I'm gonna immediately back off. He just sent one. Now I'm trying to push up here. Decent amount of stuff. Supplies coming. Get a nice hit. It's gonna take him a lot of time to repair. Does lose his tank in the end here. Trying to back up. There's artillery is coming in, trying to kill the engine destroy tank. Oh, he's got the weaker artillery, I think, yeah. I don't think he's got correct shot either. Being overwhelmed there, now we're rotating the tanks across in the southern front. Pretty much counterattacking before he can get the t command tank in center. We have some mortars here. Just to help suppress and bring smoke in for angles. Another Abrams coming in center now. I'll bring us up to four in total. Supply is almost there. I didn't realize he was in this little corner until I moved up this. I thought he was like right here. I sent a tank over here to deal with it. I thought maybe they already killed it. Rotating the tanks back here to rearm. Be a nice hit on that BV. There's a 2v1 right now. Get another hit. I'm gonna smoke off. I don't like a 2v1. Wasted all the supply. Engine's still destroyed. <laughs> We're just pumping out tank after tank now. You can see that. That's the key with 11th. You just gotta pump out tanks. The critical mass. I think you saw it right there. The writing on the wall. There was so much armor in the battlefield. And we were trading way positive against Team Man there. And I think we're at the last moment. I think we missed it. Yeah, the a Command Abrams, he turned it side. We actually got a snipe on him, killing his command tank in the center. I think we just missed it. But yeah, it was... This deck's really nasty. 11th is just crazy good. Anyway, man, uh, thanks Team Man for playing. Uh, he, he kicked my ass the first two games of the day before this. Uh, maybe I'll we'll post those as well. Uh, leave a like, guys. Comment, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys around. And thanks for watching.